Christmas story from the Bible. A surprise is the kind of a thing you remember, and that's what we do every single December. We celebrate Christmas when Jesus was born, the surprise more surprising than any before. It wasn't that no one knew God would be sending a rescuer. The narrative had been pending for thousands of years. They knew he'd appear, but unknown was the when and the how and the year. See, in the beginning, God had created the world, which was good, but he thought his greatest idea had been people. Oh, he loved them so. He gave them the world he had made for a home. But God told them one Rule they could never break. There existed a tree that they just must not take any fruit from, not one piece, not one single bite. But a devious serpent said that was a lie. He convinced God's creation they could do what they want. They didn't need rules, he said nonchalant. So they tasted the fruit and they instantly knew that it wasn't a thing that had been good to do. But God couldn't let that be the end of the story, even though we all know that they should have been sorry. He crafted a plan to redeem his creation. His plan was a person, a family, a nation. There's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's whole crew, Judah and Tamar and Boaz and Ruth, Obed and Jesse, David and Solomon. Finally, one baby named Mary. Following, oh yes, that Mary, a girl of great import, for without her part in the story, we'd be short a mother, someone who could have the new babe. Enter the angel, let's call him Gabe. So Gabe told young Mary, you're having a son. Please call him Jesus, because he is the one who saved the whole world. This was God's rescue plan to reverse the worst curse. Remember that? The first man and the woman, the garden, the lascivious snake, who told him that God's love was not real but fake. Of course, that was a lie. God's love is more real than the things that we know or the feels that we feel. Hmm. So Mary was in, she believed, good to go, but she was engaged to a guy we'll call Joe. He had reason to fear when the angel said not to, but opposite that, he obeyed like you ought to. So now that you know where this rescuer's from, let's talk about how the guy got here, God's son. It wasn't with trumpets, no shouts, no parades, not a single kazoo. Of course, they hadn't been made. Anyway, the King Caesar said, let's take account. A big sentence of everyone. Find the amount. We can tax from them all for the glory of Rome. So Joseph and Mary returned to their home. Joe was from Bethlehem. Oh, that little town? Yeah, that one. So they made a trip, looked around for a place they could stay, get married for some peace. But that night wasn't silent, not in the least. On this night had come God's great big surprise. A baby was born, yes, a baby who cries, who spits up and gets up all hours of the night. A newborn born to make everything right. But God did tell some of the birth of his son. They weren't popular nor special someones, just some shepherds watching over their flock when an angel appeared and they started to gawk. And the angel said, you've got no reason to fear. In fact, you should celebrate. Jesus is here. He's been born in a stable, a manger in fact. So get going, get moving. It's time to react. A stable, they may have thought that can't be right. A savior would not spend his very first night in a manger, the place where the animals eat. That's not quite a place where a king ought to be, but indeed there he was just like God had said, a king but no castle or comfortable bed, just a baby, a small tender child who was born, who like no one else ever would save the whole world. Now some magi out east had seen a bright star and decided to follow no matter how far. So they came and they saw and they knelt and they gave frankincense, myrrh and gold to the heavenly babe. As we get to the end of our story, let's pause. And remember, the glorious part of this all was that God saved his people, the ones that he loves, with the greatest surprise that ever there was. It was small, at least at first glance, just a baby, but pay close attention and maybe, just maybe, you'll see what God plans that astonishing rescue to ransom his people, and that includes you.